What is going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now I've had this device for some time now and there's no denying it, yes, I am a Note fan. I'm a huge Note fan, but this year's Note is slightly different. To me, the Note is a king of the hill. It's, the, it's, it's everything, it's supposed to be the beast. And I'm just gonna go into, honestly, the one thing that I just can't stand about this device is the lack of the headphone jack. Um, terrible move, terrible idea. I have so many things depending upon this headphone jack. I, I'm gonna say it again, I'm not a huge fan of Bluetooth headphones, earphones, all of that wireless stuff. I would rock wired headphones any day. It's a shame that that is something that they took off the Note. The Note should be everything and more. The Note should just be able to do everything that other phones can't. And now I feel like it has kind of fallen to just what a normal average device is, unfortunately. Now, like I said, that would be the only thing that I am not too fond of regarding this device. I'm just gonna be straight up. This phone is still a boss. Um, I think this is 256 storage plus. I got the Note 10 Plus. I can go ahead and put a micro SD card to expand my storage needs, which is always a plus. The screen is still amazing. I always am um, a fan of Samsung displays. Their screens are very crispy, very nice to watch media, very nice to actually play that new Call of Duty mobile. Um, hit me up if you guys want to go ahead and start a clan. I'm, I'm like a beast at that game. Like, honestly, I don't really like playing the Call of Duty on Xbox that much, but from playing this, I might try to start getting back into the Xbox one. But mobile-wise, PUBG what? But that's neither here nor there. Let me continue. I have yet to experience any slowdowns, but again, I've only had it for what? Is it maybe two months? Something like that. So, but right now, it is good to go. And truth be told, this is my first device I've actually used Samsung Pay on. And I don't know why I didn't use it earlier or sooner. I just, I guess I just never got around to it. But oh my goodness, using that, all I do is swipe up, that card comes up, hit my fingerprint on there, and I am good as gold, like boom. You know, so I went to Sephora the other day. Um, I had to get some foundation or whatever. And I don't know where the heck my card was. And then I remember, it dawned on me, I have Samsung Pay. So I may not be able to find my card right then and there and then all the angry people behind me, but I was able to just go ahead and swipe up, use that Samsung Pay, and out, good to go. So I really do like that feature. That's not exclusive to the Note 10 line, of course, but this is my first time actually using Samsung Pay. I'm gonna say I would recommend it and it gives you totally set of different numbers than your actual card. So I feel more secure and safe and um, unless otherwise something happens, but uh, I think that's something that's great tech and then you should be able to use it. So I did get the Aurora Glow color, as you saw from the unboxing and I actually still really love this color. Um, I did have the Armadillo Tech case on it, but with the phone this beautiful, Armadillo Tech, if you are listening, we need some clear cases. We need clear cases to showcase our devices for the ones who want to showcase them. So I actually just rocked my clear case again. It's a lot thinner. It goes into the purse easy, whatever. And my biggest thing is I want to show off this color. This is like one of my favorite colors, actually. The phone is just gorgeous. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is um, I do use the S Pen, the uh, these notes, like on-screen notes, just right away. Oh, it's a lifesaver. I've been in so many meetings lately. Um, I actually let a coworker, who's a real good friend of mine, I showed her this and I said, hey, take that pin out. So, you know, she's kind of struggling. Like, yeah, just go ahead and pull the pin out. I said, go right on the screen. She's like, just right on the screen. And I'm like, just put the pen to the screen and write. She started writing and boy, she was blown away. And then she's like, well, how much does it cost or whatever? But uh, the ease of just being able not to have to go into a program really quick, all you do is take out the pen, the phone's like, let me help you. 
and you can go ahead and write your notes. And so she was writing down her to-do list for the next couple of days, or whatever. She, she seemed very impressed. And this is a very impressive device. I'm just hoping with the Note 11 or whatever you guys are gonna call it, hashtag bring back the headphone jack. Yes, bring it back. I'm like devastated right now. In any video that I'm gonna do about a phone that doesn't have a headphone jack, you're gonna keep hearing me say, hashtag bring back the headphone jack. The speakers uh, on the device, they get very, very loud. They, it sounds really good actually. But what I have to say with, I know this is not a comparison, but what I do have to say is the iPhone 11 that I have, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, whatever you call it. Um, to me, I get more bass in the iPhone speaker. Uh, sounds more full. Um, so Samsung, if you can work on that on the next device, that would be just great. Because like I said, these aren't terrible. They get nice and loud. You can hear everything, but um, I like um, bass and in, in my audio stuff that I listen to. I like bass and that I'm just getting more loud than bass. Having the iPhone and the Note 10 Plus next to each other while playing the exact same content, um, the iPhone sounds like a more well-rounded device as far as audio. Okay, as far as audio. I mean, the phone just functions well. I, like I said, haven't had any slowdowns. My battery life is just ridiculous. You know, I get up in the middle of the night sometimes, check the Twitter, check Instagram, whatever, and then I may not put it back on the charger and then I'll go through the next day. If it's like a, a Tuesday or Wednesday morning, I'll go ahead and catch my girls from Gadget Chats. If you haven't heard of Gadget Chats, you must go and check them out. Those girls rocks. Those will be your home girls of tech. And they do, they do put out a video every, excuse me girls, I can't remember. If it's a Tuesday, or maybe they do it Tuesday and I watch it Wednesday morning, or maybe they do it Monday night and I watch it Tuesday, one or the other. They do have a YouTube page called Gadget Chats. So that's Catwoman and Gadget Goddess. They are great. So check them out if you want some content from the female perspective. I'm not scrambling to go find a charger to go ahead and have to charge. I can, I feel confident when I leave that I can get a whole day and then some. And I do have the device on high brightness, um, the highest settings, because that's what I paid for this phone for. If I needed to, it's good to know that I can go ahead and put it on lower settings to lessen the strain on the battery. And I like options. And so with the Note 10 Plus and the Note line, they give you options on, you know, how bright do you need that screen? And do you really need an Ultra HD? And, and yeah, me, I want it. I bought it, I want it, I'm gonna have it. So uh, battery life is not a thing. Another great thing that I noticed about this device is, you know, to be honest, I wasn't really feeling my S10 Plus. So when I could get rid of that, I got rid of that, but the problems I was having with my S10 Plus, and maybe it was just my my unit that I got, uh, very warm all the time, uh, very, very warm. Man, I play Call of Duty, I watch videos, I'm editing thumbnails, emails, work emails, phone calls, text message, social media. I'm not getting warm with this. I am not, I'm not, I'm not even, get, I'm not getting warm with this. That S10 Plus, my goodness, everything made that damn phone warm. And I feel like it had a little bit of slowdown here and there, but, um, and that's why I was kind of hesitant to, to get the Note 10. I'm like, duh, but, 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 I am not a huge, S line person. I've always been note, so I don't know if that's a thing with the S line, but that's what kind of made me hesitant. I'm like, well, damn, if the S10 Plus is gonna be like this, then the Note 10 took away the headphone jack. I'm already not really caring for the S10 like that. It kind of made me on the fence, but being the tech head that I am, I went ahead and got it, and I am so glad that I just, you know, jumped out there a little bit and tried it. So that's a plus for me. It's just a smooth operator. It's, it's, it's just so, I just don't have any complaints. Like, and I was digging, like, and I know I haven't had it for a long time, like two months, I'm, I'm guessing, two months I think it is. I was digging to find something that I could, you know, say, well, this is another thing I don't like, but all I have is the headphone jack. Like the wireless charging is fast. The cable charging is fast. Type C is where it's at. The speakers are good. You got stereo speakers. The sound quality when you're on a phone call is just great. The speaker phone like is nice and clear. I'd be able to hear somebody on a speaker phone 
from like the next room. That's how good this is. The S Pen, I mean, the pressure points and everything is just on point. I'll take my Note 10. It's water resistant, dust resistant, or dust proof, and all that stuff. It doesn't have to be baby. I mean, maybe a little bit. I didn't even put, I, I got my $50 white stone dome glass screen protector. Still haven't put it on. And I'm rocking this thin case. And I mean, I haven't dropped, well, the phone did slide out my hand, um, but it fell into the car. But no scratches. Unlike my Apple Watch, I can look at this and not feel disappointed. Not feel like a, a little pain in my heart every time I look at the screen. This is such a great device. I know a lot of people who just love their Note 10s. The pictures are great. I'm gonna go ahead and roll some pictures. Um, the pictures are just great. Taking pictures is fun. I have the wide angle, the telephoto. I have just the live focus, live focus recording or live focus video. I have so many options and I'm a chick that loves to have options. You know, one day I might want this, but the next day I might want this and I can get it all in this package right here with the Note 10. The fingerprint sensor is a lot better than the one on the S10 Plus. As you see, I just opened it up. It's not as fast as like the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, it's not as fast as um, the Huawei P30 Pro, but I mean, it's, it's, I'll take this any day over that atrocious fingerprint sensor of the S10 Plus. Now maybe they had an update and they did something with it. I'm not for sure, but when I had it, and maybe because I'm just a Note fan and I'm slightly biased, I guess, but the Note 10 is where it's at. If you're on the fence, like, should I get the S10? Now the S10 Plus and that, the S line will be cheaper, but in the long run, this is where most of the functions in the S Pen, or you just want something more premium, I guess, this is where you want to go. I just have only good things to say about it right now, and, and maybe that's not what you guys wanted to hear, but I'm being honest with you. I haven't found anything yet to make me pull out my locks or throw the phone down and stomp on it or run it over with my car. Bluetooth is great. I don't have any interruptions or disruptions with my Bluetooth. It's a great device. Yeah, you're going to pay some money for it, but this year, again, they did something a little different. They've given you options. You can either have the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus, and then you do have the 5G option, which this is not, I'm not getting 5G in my area probably anytime soon. So guys, that's pretty much how I feel about the Note 10 Plus. The Note 10 Plus or the Note line is something that you're gonna really wanna consider as if it's for work or your personal activities or whatever, this is where it's at. You feel very productive, you feel very efficient, and it's gonna get the job done for you. So that's my feelings on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I'm all on board. Samsung, if you're listening, please, pretty please. Next device, put the damn headphone jack back. All right, guys, until next time, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.